All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to mark up all our citations in this brief so that we can create a table of authorities. So to do that, go up here, select References. If you're in Home, select References, and click Mark Citation. This window will appear. From here, just go to your first citation, right here, highlight it, and it's okay if you grab that period, but it doesn't really matter, um, and then click the Mark Citation box. You're going to see this window is going to populate. Now this right here, you want to get this to look exactly how you'd want it in the table of authorities. So delete that period, and most importantly, delete that pin site as well. Now some attorneys like to put a space or a uh, return right there. That's fine if you want. I'll just leave it um, without that. Once you're happy with how it looks, go to Category and make sure it says Cases. Now if you wanted to change these categories, you certainly can do that. Click on Category. This window will appear and you can change the name of it. So if you wanted to separate Supreme Court cases, federal, state cases, uh, you could do that if you wanted to. Just remember, whatever you, whenever you replace it, hit replace or else nothing will happen. So I'll just cancel out of here, make sure that's case. Um, don't worry about the short citation window. It doesn't actually refer to Blue Book short citations, um, but we'll see what this does in a second. All right, once this looks good, click mark and it's marked that citation. You'll see here that it's added this extra text right here. And this is what Word uses to uh, create your table of authorities later on. Now don't worry, this won't be seen in your brief. In fact, if we go up here and hit this button, it will disappear. But we've marked one, so let's just see how that's going to look in the table of authorities. If you want to see your table of authorities, go to Reference, and click Insert Table of Authorities. You can leave this all the same, just make sure Category is All, and whether or not to use Passim, you can select or unselect that as you want. Hit OK. There we go, there's our site. All right, so let's go on to the next one. With your mark citation, uh, with your mark citation window open, go to the next case, the people v fields, highlight it, select right here. Again, let's make sure we get this exactly how we'd want it in the table of authorities. Once we're happy with it, make sure it's on case and hit mark. And then from there, we can go to the next one. Here's another case, highlight, click over here, get it exactly right. Mark. Now if we wanted to see how this is going to look in our table of authorities, we can just simply right click, update field, and we can see all the new changes that we've done here. Now let's take a look at something else. Let's see what happens when you're marking the same citation over and over. So for example, you want to cite a full case, and then later you want to cite a short cite or cite that same case again. So here I've got a case, I'm going to highlight it, mark citation, get this exactly how I want, make sure case is on, hit mark. All right, now let's say that case appears again right here. So here we've got, we can see it's a short site. So I'm going to click here. Now I don't want to hit mark just yet because I've already m cited this here. If I, do, if I hit mark, it's going to appear twice in the table of authorities and I don't want that. So instead what I'm going to do is go down to short site and this is where short site matters. I'm going to click here and then hit mark. That's all I have to do. Same thing if this case comes up again, Starbuck right here, simply highlight, click here, and again, go down to the short site and hit mark. Now let's see what happens. When we go up here and update our table of authorities, you'll see here's that case, Starbuck v8, and you'll see that it appears on page two, four, and five. Same thing with the other, with other cases. If I wanted to cite this one again, simply select here, I want to make sure it, I haven't cited this before, but I haven't. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Oh, actually, let me make sure I, I do that right. You don't, if I, if I accidentally select this, you can see what's going to appear down there, and I don't want that. So let me just, let me close this for a second. Cite that again, mark citation. Okay, that's what we want it to appear as, mark. All right, and we want to do that again. Here it is in short cite form. Select right here, again, find that case, mark, and I'll do it one more time. Here's that case again, select it, find it in the short site, hit mark. All right, let's go up and see how we did. And again, if you want to change this so you don't see this extra text here, simply click that. Let's see how we did. Update fields. So now we can see those other cases that we've marked multiple times. There we are, and oops, looks like I did do. So Right here, it looks like I had already marked Durden v. Narrator, but I marked this one again, so I made a mistake. 
how can I fix this? It's actually pretty easy. I can see that I've cited under two different pages. So it looks like I accidentally um, mismarked it here and down here. Fortunately, it's pretty easy to fix. With this on, so I can see that, so I can see this extra text. I'm just going to highlight all this. Whoops, just this part, just the extra part, and delete it. Same thing right here. Have that extra part. Don't want to don't want to include that semicolon and delete it. When I refresh this, there we go, that's clean, but I still want to add those other sites. So let's do it again and let's try to do it right this time. So I'll highlight this one that I haven't hide highlighted before. Again, go to reference, mark citation, and now I'm looking for Durden V narrator. There we go, mark. Next one right here, Durden, Durden V narrator, and mark. Let's see if it works this time. Right click, update field, and there you go. Now you can see the same case as it appears on page three, four, and five. Now let's do one more thing. Let's mark a, a citate or let's mark a statute just to see how that works. So here we've got a statute right here. You mark it just like a case, highlight it. Let's mark that citation. The only different thing is right here in category, I want to select statutes and rules. If I have it on cases, it's going to appear under the cases. I'd rather have it under statute and rules. So I select that and hit mark. Now, how do I make that appear? If I click right here, hmm, it's just going to update the cases. Um, how do I make these statutes appear? Well, believe it or not, an easy way to do this is just to delete this and click Insert Table of Contents, or excuse me, Table of Authorities. Um, and there it is with statutes and rules. And just keep in mind, if you do want to update these, you have to do it separately. If you don't want to do it separately, simply delete, go back to Reference, and insert a new Table of, table of Authorities. So that's how you're going to mark up your table of authorities for your, or rather, that's how you're going to mark up your citations for a table of authorities.